Hey guys, I just want to do a real quick one on stuff you should always have in your truck. Now, I don't have everything here for a visual, but you always want to have tape, always want to have O-rings, always want to have duct seal. This duct seal is for electrical meters. Those of you that don't know, if it looks sketchy, it's getting new duct seal. Always want to have some sort of like lubricant because, you know, when people ask for money on the side of the road, you want to make sure you make them work for it. No, I'm just kidding. It's for, you know, quick connects and stuff that are sticking uh, stuff squeaking, whatever, you know, WD-40, some, some, uh, KY or some petroleum jelly and bang, but always have extra hoses. Uh, I, I, I use, you know, 12 volts a lot. So I, I, obviously I have a battery pack that can run them for a while, but I always carry an extra battery, um, extra pressure washer, <laughs> which, which you'll get there if you're not there yet. But I also, as far as chemicals go, I mean, soap, soap to me. I, I, people push a lot of clout to try to push their soaps. Like, this is EBC. I, it's, it's soap. You know what I mean? Eh. Eh. <laughs> but you always want a good acid. Um, I used to always rock the Sure Clean by Prosoco, but their customer service, they're like, they're seriously, like, just, I don't know how to say it. They're jerks. So... Eco chems by my house, and now I rock eco chem stuff. Um, for all my uh, new masonry cleanup, like mortar smear removal, for, from people bricker pointing or new masonry construction, I always use NMD80. For uh, oh, that's NMD82. For for like, if you look at this here, it shows they're cleaning limestone. I don't use this for limestone. I think that's limestone. I don't use this for limestone though. But uh, it, they're, they're showing they're cleaning glass lit. I use it for. Um, Actually, I didn't even look at this. It shows you all kinds of cool stuff you can clean with it. Hard water deposits. Didn't ever look at this. I just always use it for uh, oxidation removal whenever metal oxide. So this, this can get rid of rust stains too, it says. But I've always used this for getting rid of, like say, aluminum siding became oxidized, leached down to brick skirting below, or shutters leached down onto brick or stone or whatever. That's what I've always used this for. Works great for that, oxidation removal. Uh, from masonry and then where's the bark where's the bark Th this is f9 bark for rust stains on like vinyl and masonry Th that's what it's made for that's what I, I i always keep this in the truck i don't always keep acids on the truck but i always do keep this because you never know when you're going to run into like an air conditioner unit or something that left rust stains um these are a must Th these are just like sh to me like i'm always running into wood so uh, that sounded wrong, but you, you can see where this is a problem. This stuff gets wet and comes off, but I just rewrite it. These are a dollar at the dollar store. I buy big bags of this because it's cheaper from the chemical company that I get my SH from. Um, I, I actually got this cool, like, childproof container from the, from the co chemical company, so I just keep reusing it because it's childproof, but uh, usually I have these two with me. And I'll put them in here with my O-rings. I have another one that's taped right here. I have O-rings, um, Gooby Gone, and some, like some razor blades, and my sodium, sodium hydroxide, or sodium, yeah, sodium hydroxide and oxalic acid. Those are for cleaning wood. Keep at least this much on the truck, like I do anyways. If I know I'm doing a deck, I take more, you know. These are a dollar, like, fill them up, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, necessities, cones, obviously. Um, but, yeah, for sure, for sure, as far as chemicals and, like, miscellaneous goes, I always keep a few extra quick connects in case something breaks or whatever. Uh, O-rings, tape, I said, uh, lubricant, and duct seal. Just, just a must, right? And then obviously all your pressure washing stuff, your lances, your hose, hoses, your for for pressure washing hoses, like like obvious stuff. But as far as chemicals go, for basic like regular house washing, this is what I would suggest you definitely have. And, and like I said, soap, soap. You can like if you're into the dyes, if you got the uh uh crap. Now I'm having a brain fart. But if you're into the dyes, I, I like the Apple Wash. I have some, that, that's usually what I use actually, just because I like the smell of it too. And the customers love it. They love the smell, uh, which gives it like marketing purposes. But like EBC, 
dude that sells it's super cool and everything. I bought it because of the clout, I guess, like the the stigma. You know, everybody like he, he's a pressure washer. The guy that makes it, so everybody pushes it for him. But uh, yeah, it's not. It's just soap. Uh, whatever soap you want to use. I I've bought a bunch of them because of the clout, but soap, soap. As far you'll, you'll have like these people that are like chemists that try to break it down for you and act like it's gonna make or break your project, but. I've never ran into an issue or never used one soap from another soap that would make or break my project. <laughs> just what it is. I don't know if I said this yet either. Uh, this is just another one for oil spills. And, and this isn't something you got to keep on the truck all the time. It's just, it's what I use for like grease trap cleaning and uh, dumpster pad cleaning and oil spill cleaning. But, but I was just talking with a guy. EcoChem has uh, oil spill removal remover. I think I'm going to go to go with that. And, and again, when you want to talk about like clout and like stigma, oil vanish, horrible, horrible chemical. I would not suggest it to anybody, but, uh, here's an, another F9 product. It's F9 eFlow. Get rid of efflorescence. I will never do another efflorescence job unless they sign off saying it's probably going to come back <laughs> and they understand that because almost every single time it comes right back. And my, now I have friends that do like retaining walls and stuff and they say it cleans up nice, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if it's just my luck, but it always comes back and I'm done with it. So I spent too much time, money doing test spots. It's just not worth it to me. So, but if, if you do want to get into that, that is a good product. It does get rid of it. It just usually comes back. Obviously SH. I don't know if I said that or not. Definitely want your SH. I, they didn't fill me up yet today. Some pump sprayers. These ones are crap. I don't use those ones. I use the deck ones from Lowe's with the relief valve. That way, if uh, you know you got a harsh chemical in there, you can relieve the pressure. You're not breathing it all in when you take the lid off. Always have some extra bungees and scrapers and yada yada yada. I'm just beating a dead horse now. But yeah, that's 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 the gist of it. Stuff you absolutely should have. <laughs>